A lot of us love our house pets, dogs, cats, fish, or birds. When John Cartner heads to his house, he's greeted by pets many people wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole. It, it, it becomes habit forming. Uh, it's addictive. He started out with five snakes about five years ago. Now he has more than 200 of the low-down creatures in a room just off his kitchen. She's a pretty good-sized snake. He's heard the arguments against living with so many creepy crawlers. I don't see how you can sleep in there with all them things in the house. What happens if they get loose and you're going to uh, die one night because they're going to strangle you around the neck? So far, nothing bad has happened, except for maybe a couple of bites. I would rather get bit by a snake than go to the hospital and get a needle. I just, I'm just funny like that. However, John doesn't mess with venomous snakes. No. He crossbreeds the snakes, hoping to produce unusual colors and patterns. And once they start hatching, it's, it's like Christmas, you, you know, waiting to see what's coming out of the egg. Some snakes John wouldn't part with. Others are for sale through a Facebook site called Hilltop Reptiles and Rodents. You've seen the reptiles. The rodents are in two sheds. If you raise snakes, you have to feed them. Like this guy, he's a little dumbo, because see how the ears are on the side? John knows this isn't for everyone, but you might be surprised how many people breed snakes. He knows of five others in central Kentucky. It's more of a hobby. I don't really make a lot right now, but I enjoy the passion of it, I guess. And it's a passion John Cartner doesn't hide under a rock. They're all unique. He's happy to share it with anyone who finds snakes striking in a good way. In Nicholasville, Marvin Bartlett with the spirit of the bluegrass.